Hello, welcome to episode 87 of the Youth Squad Legends series with Harrogate Town. Big brain plays in the Youth Squad Legends headquarters. Usually, I, I like to do my episodes in the afternoon, but we're here 20 minutes past 10 at night because it's cooler outside. Oh, I'm so smart. Let's go. This game against West Ham is going to be difficult because we'll be rotating the side. Even though we're halfway through, I do feel like this is going to be the episode that really defines the season. Your first game is West Ham United against Harrogate Town. This is going to be as difficult as City. We'll be lucky to get out of this with a draw. Petter Toman, very nice. Never mind the fact that I'm just not used to playing Youth Squad Legends at night anymore. Used to absolutely love doing this when I was at college. Paul Burning's on his way. It'll be Mustafa Name at the back post that we're aiming for. Oh, oh Mustafa Name. Can't direct it goalwards. Gonna try and do a killer ball is Total Donko that gets in the way. Have they got the angle here? Absolutely not. We seem to be playing well enough. So that gives me confidence going into the City game. Ah, oh, well done, Wittiness, mate. Junior apparently fouling the West Ham player. 34-yard free kick. Surely he's not going to take this all the way. He's, he's tried it. Tipped over by Mikko Kartunen. Still no Koki has been excellent. Mustafa Names trying to point to where he wants it. In fact, the ball is going to Festus Walbrecht. Here comes another cross in. I mean... Can't say that Mustafa Name wasn't committed to that. Better Toman working like a fullback. Very nice. And who's there again? Stone Lukoki. First to everything. Festus Walbrecht's been up and down the channel. Burning took way too long with the skill pass with the fancy flick as expected. This one is tough. We're at half time. Nil nil. We're just swapping Wittiness Mate Jr. with Happy Dolly. And also Bedelli for Festus Walbrecht will give us more attacking quality into the middle see it go on burning on the volley total donko dropping back he was slightly offside so wasn't an option well done great line by the harrogate town defense and the nut just times it to perfection all the way across it's happy dolly can we find the pass into cosme Oi! had to be an acrobatic one it was behind cosme lads at the back have been excellent Yes, total donk or stepping in. The nut onto Nicola Bruno. Big chance. Big, big chance. Oh, and just... Oh, too heavy. Should have been for Cosme that. Total donk struggling a little bit. Tired legs out there now. Oh. Oh, God, son and save has been spilt right to the number nine. That's kind of made my mind up. What I want to do with that final substitution. Didn't really like what Toman was giving us at holding midfield, but we're just going to have to risk that one. And it's going to be Yerson Rower coming on from Mustafa Name and Cosme playing as that right forward. Oh, dear. No one's opening up for me. I'm going to have to go to Happy Dolly. It's a lovely ball, to be fair. Yes, sir. <laughs> He's tried it. It's gone over the bar. Second time Happy Dolly has played a ball behind the attacker is Yerson Rowe on side oh we've not even been able to put that one away Yerson Rowe as expected has brought some more injection into this attack Cosme across <coughs> Yerson Rowe tries the acrobatics but Delhi into burning oh man we need to put this in go on Bruno use that speed this is a big chance because his speed means that that fullback has not got the hope in hell getting. Yes. Paul Burning top corner. I mean, we just got Rumi up to get a winner now. With Yerson Rower on this field, everything has changed. The dynamic has changed. It shows how much of a big player Yerson Rower is. But Delhi's won that ball back. You got two on this side. That's it. You double up on that wing back. I've been like kind of coaching them whilst playing. It's the nuts. Oh, he's toe poked it in. Yerson Rowe around the corner, Bedelli, no. All in all, that's a good result. It would have been really good to get a late winner, but West Ham defended quite well. And um, yeah, there is a gap now emerging between like our second string side and our first team. It takes a bit more effort with the other lads. Manchester City beat Newcastle by two goals to nil. After 20 games played for both sides, First and second 
are on 53 points. Going into this, the match that we've all been waiting for on December the 30th, 2026, it's Harrogate Town against Manchester City. A slightly tired Manchester City against a completely fresh Harrogate Town. We sacrificed two points, probably for the greater good here. Perfect weather conditions as well. Cannot be complaining about glare on the stadium. I've already given the ball away. That is no good. Keeper save that. No worries. Carl Tunnant finding Carrasco. Nice chest control. And he sets it off. He starts the moves because it's Frank Carrasco. Oleje up. No. Does not squeeze it back into Tony Skalitsky. He looked like he could have a one-on-one -on -one chance. Breaking's probably going to be our best shot. Go. Oh, that's Car Oh, man, what a beauty by Carrasco. Ooh. That's Alan Papa with his second misplaced pass of the game. It's Louis Price. That's where Louis Price comes. Any more mistakes that you want to really do, Carlton? And get him out of your system now, please. What's he doing trying to chest pass? Ah, I've done everything right there. Mm, 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 mm. Every time I play Manchester City, things go wrong. It's a flurry of Manchester City corner kicks on this near side. But they've been denied time and time again. Phil Foden apparently offside. We finally got this ball back. Yeah, ignore that sliding tackle. It was pretty nasty on Louis Price. But a really good chance here. If we can find the right player, it's going over everyone. Oh, Carrasco. Great blocking. Oh, Alan Papa did not get himself back on side. He's having a stinker so far. Tony Skalitsky, keep it simple. Olegeo, big chance. Get it in. Come on, Arrogate. This is our day. No real chase there. I can send it to my other centre back. Radu Flocker goes past Sterling. And whoever the hell that other person was, Carrasco just flicks it on to Yerson Rower. Radu Flocker turned defence into attack there. I love Alan Papa when he starts jumping up and winning balls. Oh, there we got it. We won it. Go on, Olegeo. Come on. Ah. It's a corner kick. Yeah, it was on target. Kepa, what a save. Onside, but the nearest defender is Radu Flocker. And there is no chance that this number 21 gets around Radu Flocker. No chance whatsoever. Trying to... Oh, my goodness. The finesse shot by Raheem Sterling. God, he couldn't have put that any better. Into the top corner. And City lead again. I am never going to beat these guys. Got to be patient. But when the chance comes, I need to take it. We are slightly running out of time. That was a good ball. Okay. Adonis! What have I just said? And why is that left-hand side just not working tonight? Why do we keep on bottling it against City? Happy Dolly to Yerson Rowe up. It was a fine pass, but it was just on the outside, so not a chance to really take a shot. Bedelli, ah, oh, Bedelli's hard cross goes right into the goalkeeper's chest. Go Carrasco, please. Chest control. Oh, oh. We've lost the city again. Welcome to Yuko Ike's Haiku Chronicles with your host, Yuko Ike. Plain good or bad, there is always one result. City, take the win. What is that first goal? I've completely forgot about that first goal. Our pass accuracy was down at 67%. That's essentially every third pass not hitting the intended target. That's ludicrous. How can that be a thing? Who's drawn this FA Cup third round? Spurs? I bet City have got that Crawley Town. They got Wimbledon. Out of all the players, Alan Papa will be so far down the list of players that you think might bottle it. And there he was. It is a marathon, not a sprint. 21 out of the 38 games played. We're just going to have to do this the really difficult way and beat every single other team. And fingers crossed, in the however many games that are remaining, Manchester City drop three points. Because 
no doubt we will have the beating of them and goal difference. Harrogate Town against Spurs in the FA Cup. I'm not losing my cool. I've had a wonderful day outside in the glorious sunshine. And I'm not going to get angry. Check a morning. What a pass. What a play. The eye for a pass there. Amador forgetting to take the ball with him. It's all right. Maybe he just doesn't know what a ball is. He knows what a door is. Maybe hit it, Cosme. Oh, oh watch Alan Papa score. Now, suddenly, after the debacle of Manchester City, he's like, oh, I realised I'm a footballer again. I'm a really good one at that. Man City have got a curse on us. 11 voodoo dolls sticking pins in them. Is that what they do with voodoo dolls? Okay, right, between you and me, I don't believe in it. Usually I don't like to play English teams in the Champions League final, but it would be good if we got there and had to play City again, wouldn't it? Just to finally get that taste of victory. Great press. I mean, they've not been able to get out of their third for about five, ten minutes. And when they do, the nut is on the case, and here goes, knock, knock. <coughs> Who's that? <laughs> is Amador a professional footballer? No more Diastam trying his best to actually get in the way. Alan Papa. Is that not a foul? We got none of the ball, but yet apparently that was clean. Um, if they score from this, which they have done, referees had a nightmare there, I think. I'm still not going to get angry. I'm right there. Oh, to be fair, right, I've just seen the instant replay and the guy has got the ball. Did look from our angle like he absolutely crunched Alan Papa, but he's won the ball fairly and that is a fair goal from Tottenham Hotspur. It's actually really good refereeing. Amador, please. Knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs> just put the ball. <laughs> One minute is terrible, then he shows immense promise, then he's back to terrible, 83 overall! Inside to Cosme, then to Mustafa Name, I'm a door! Knock, knock! Who's there? I'm a door! How does he do this? That's a footballer who absolutely loves the FA Cup, by the way. Go on, I'm a door! Marmoselli's on. Okay, winners! Hold on, Adonis. Get on it, Adonis. Touch, maybe, on the half volley. Oh! Oh! That is a great little finish. Bang! Yes! Why couldn't we have seen that against City? Ah! Oh, you're killing me here, lads. What a goal. Didn't even bounce back up. Spin was beautiful. Maybe them snowy conditions helped it on its way. Yeah, give it to Carrasco. Go on. To make it 4-1! Was there any doubt? When Carrasco got that ball one-on-one, -on -one, was there any doubt? We can do this to every single team in the country apart from one. <sighs> sake. Full-time 4-1 Harrogate. Festus Walbrecht had a small little loan out to Wolfsburg at the start of the month. Recalled him. I think he's just grown by two overall. Sebastian Skipper was also out on loan, but he has not grown. He's uh, still 70. Might play here. I might go for Herc. It is a semi-final after all in the Carabao Cup. We're going to go strong. Watford against Harrogate Town. Oh, won by Alan Papa. Little flick on by Yerson Rowe up. Demian Kobe. Heavy touch. Still have the ball. Is Alan Papa. Now into Carrasco. Out wide. Jono Jokinen. I think Olegea will be offside. The flag does not go up. So why did he throw himself at it? Massive by Louis Price. And we're back on the attack. The charge. Yerson Rowe goes down. Sat down by one of the defenders. Referee didn't like that one bit. We've got a penalty. Yeah, Ola J is penalty taken. He's like 95. So we're going to take it, stick it into that corner. Lovely stuff. Lovely take by Valerie Ola Jaya. Get in. I didn't really plan it. I just threw the best side out there. But maybe this is a good idea to get this two-legged tie finished in the first leg. Radu Flocker takes it away. Go on, Radu. 
Big Radu into there off. Yeah. Skips past another challenge. Absolutely excellent from the centre bike. Is someone going to close him down? Well, I don't believe that. Big tackle. Here we go. Yerson Rowot in the middle of them centre backs. Just set it up for Olegea. Get in. Swift passing. Someone's injured. Little dummy by Carrasco. Where's the source? Get it to Happy Dolly. He looks onside. Big hit. Oh! That's good. Juan Carlos Rojas! That's brilliant! Yeah, that's brought a smile to the face. I mean, honestly, we've been really good this episode, and we've been so hard done by on occasions. But still, outside of that Manchester City game, we've kind of got everything that we could be aiming for with the players that we had on the field. West Ham, we needed a draw. Tottenham almost took us to a replay, but then we found the quality. We've gone hard on Watford. Already 3-0 up. Dimian Kobe. That is on its way. Oh, what a cross by Rojas. Right into the feet of Yerson Rowot. Watford, nil. Harrogate Town, three. Probably tie over. Can't imagine Watford scoring three without reply at uh, Air Leahy Stadium. This has been Coxie. Thank you ever so much for watching this episode of Youth Squad Legends. If you've enjoyed it, then please give the video a like. If you're not subscribed around here yet, and press the red box down below and the bell icon for mobile notifications. Big thank you to everybody on the right hand side pledging to me on Patreon. Recently we've had fewer pledges and I mean it's expected it's at the end of a series. That money does help me get by, pay the bills. So if you can help us out even if it's only for a couple of months it would be greatly appreciated. Links down in the description. See you next time. Bye bye.